Good morning. Now, we all know that too much fast food can put you in the fast lane for fitness failure. But did you know that the biggest sabotage to healthy eating may actually come from your salad? I know. Well, high school musical star and healthy eating blogger Monique Coleman joins us this morning to share her perfect salad equation. Monique, it's terrible. We think we're eating healthy. And sometimes you're saying the salad is where we're going wrong. What well, makes it bad? That's just it. I know, that's just <laughs> it. Well, a salad that starts out at maybe 400 calories can so easily jump up to 1,200 calories or more just by adding a few simple ingredients. These things are our high-fat dressing, croutons, cheese, and nuts. So easily those calories are up, up, up. Now, I wanted to help out because I am passionate about healthy eating, so I actually came up with what I call the perfect salad equation. Okay. Now, I'm like not the best person at math, so the equation is really, really simple. Basically, you're gonna wanna take three quarters of your salad is going to be your fresh vegetables and fruits. Those are your greens, kale, collards, spinach, and then you're gonna add your veggies tomato, onions, green peppers, cucumbers, any vegetable, and then only one quarter of your salad, that's gonna be where you add your lean proteins, your chicken, if you're vegetarian, that can be black beans or tofu, and you're gonna mix that with your complex carbohydrate like delicious quinoa. Now we only want to use about two tablespoons of olive oil, mix that with a little bit of vinegar, and add sliced avocado for your healthy fats. Now I love flavor, and so for me, I like to add in fresh herbs to just give it that burst of flavor. So cilantro or basil or crushed up mint, and all of a sudden it's a really, really healthy salad that's also just absolutely delicious. Monique, that looks good, it sounds good, but you took a lot of the it's fun really stuff out. I mean, when I'm making a salad, I like to throw things in there, and my logic is that, you know, I've got the greens, maybe you can put some croutons and nuts. Is that how I'm sabotaging my salad? Well, there well, I think also a big thing uh, about it would be how much you're using. One of the things uh, we talked about is the, the a lot of times people like the croutons because they're crunchy, but you can actually try things like using seeds. For instance, pumpkin seeds are a great way to continue to add that that crunch and you want to you know kind of expand so that you're using a variety of different vegetables I actually read a study recently by university college london that suggests that 48 percent of people that eat seven or more servings of vegetables a day actually live longer and then those who don't so we really want to live longer and make sure that we're having at least two cups of vegetables every single day that's and good that your plate is very colorful. And the most important thing is that you're eating vegetables and fruits that are in season, which is why I personally really like Nature's Greens and Versatile Veggies. Oh, I had yeah. a chance to visit the farm where the, they grow their produce. And oh my gosh, knowing that, you know, this fruits and vegetables that you're, you're getting are always in season, it just, it's great and it bumps up the nutritional value, which That's is really good important. Stuff. Monique and I'm a vegetarian. I love to yeah. eat my veggies. And you're right, especially if you can get Beautiful. them fresh. It's a good way to keep all the nutrients. Now, the salad dressing, that could be some place where people always go wrong. You were saying vinegar and olive oil. Are there any other types of dressings that we can have and not really go wrong? Well, I like to use those as the base, personally. Just a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, and then depending on your on your taste and flavors, you can add things like lemon pepper or a fresh squeeze of lemon or, or a splash of orange juice to give yourself that extra flavor. And you know, a lot of us are like, how do I have time to do all of this? You know, I'm, I'm running around, how, how do I incorporate this healthy eating into my lifestyle? And I really recommend using Nature's Greens and Versatile Greens pre-cut, pre-wash veggies. My two personal favorites are actually the kale and the collard greens. And another thing with our busy schedules, a lot of us are, are just gravitating towards these fruit smoothies and you really want to be careful there because a lot of fruit smoothies are actually really jam-packed with a lot of added extra sugar so I recommend that you actually make your smoothies at home I have a recipe for a kale smoothie on the website rawl.net that's r-a-w-l dot net along with a lot of other healthy eating tips and recipes Monique that's wonderful all right we're sending everybody to your website thanks for the healthy eating tips this morning and we'll We'll see you again. Have a great day. Happy first day of spring. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. We'll have more Let's Talk Live coming up right after this.